So our new Treadshire report is something we're very excited to be releasing with the new pro version of our Treadshire 2.0 application. So with the Treadshire report, you're finally now going to be able to capture all the tires that are mounted on the piece of equipment and put it into a single report that is an image format that can be uploaded directly onto the equipment listing for you or your customers to take a look at, share, and have all the information on the tires um, up front. So before I get into how to actually generate the Treadshire report in the application, I first want to spend a little bit of time on how to properly measure the tires. This is a question we get a lot, um, and also kind of how to properly do one if you see uneven wear. So I just want to kind of touch on that. Um, to do this, you're going to need your, your tread depth gauge that has 30 seconds of an inch. And if you have one of these new white gauges, is kind of what we're shipping out with 2.0, follow the instructions on the front to set this up properly. So we'll slide the ruler portion uh, through the two slots of the gauge here, and you'll be able to get your measurement in 30 seconds of an inch. Now, when we come up to a tire, our overall goal is to get the best average of the entire tire in terms of the tread depth that is left. So how we feel the best way to do that with the, the smallest amount of measurements as possible because we can't go every square inch around the tire is basically going a third of the way in from either side of the tire and keeping that gauge parallel with the side, sliding it in until you're basically about halfway on the lugs. So once you're there, you keep your gauge perpendicular to the lugs itself and you slide the gauge down until the body makes contact. And when you pull your gauge away, you'll be able to see your measurement right there. And with the tension that we keep on that ruler portion, it doesn't go anywhere. So what we then do is we take our gauge with that measurement locked in and we set it at a couple different spots around the tire, kind of evenly spaced out as possible doing maybe one from the front, you know, third of the way in from the front, and then one from the third of the way to the back. So now that we kind of have an idea of how to properly measure the tire with our Treadshire gauge, we'll now be ready to properly do the Treadshire report. But we're gonna need our phone with the Treadshire app installed, as well as access to the pro version. So let me pull up the Treadshire app, and we can just run through the exercise of how to properly do a Treadshire report. So, when you open up the home screen, you'll see a few different options. Again, we're just gonna focus on the Treadshire reports. For this, we're also gonna to need to input a few pieces of, the, of information about the machine, so that way our report can be tracked through the uh, trade-in process or the resale process, and also it gives a little bit of a remarketing um, advantage too when you have it on there for the listing itself. So, few things of information you're gonna need is a serial number. So we'll do the last six, which is on the tag here. So we'll input that into our serial slash reference number. And then we'll hit the add machine details button. We'll put in the make, model, year, and hours of this machine. So this is a John Deere combine, a 9560 STS. We'll put in the year as well as the hours that are currently on the machine. So once that information's in there, we'll hit continue, and we'll now be ready to start to put in our sidewall information, as well as our tread depth information into the application. This new interface allows us to have more of a graphical approach to putting the tires in. So we'll hit the plus sign at our location that we're currently standing. For this, I always like to start with the outside tire. We'll put in now the sidewall information, which is our Firestone, Radial all traction, 23 degrees, and our size is a 480 ADR38. So we'll input all that into the application. You can put this data in by scrolling through all the models that we have, or you can start to narrow down the results by just typing it in. So there it is right there. And same with the size, we can type it in or scroll whatever you prefer to do and select the proper information that's on the sidewall. Next, we're gonna pay attention to the condition. We have a condition slider in here that allows you to just to kind of generalize poor, fair, good, or excellent condition. We still recommend taking good details photos of the tires um, and putting those on the listing because condition can be very, very subjective. But for these tires here, um, we're looking for anything with big stubble damage, cuts, 
or um, weather cracking on the rubber itself. I don't see anything too bad on this, so I'm probably gonna rate this tire as good. Now we'll enter in our condition or our measurement um, on our depth slider here, which again, this tire, I got 42, 30 seconds. And so we'll slide our depth slider over until we get that value and we'll hit continue. So we see that tire now populated in the app. This tire right here is about 87% life remaining. And we'll continue this process now for the inside tire at this front left location. So I'll hit the plus sign again. I'll hit the inside tire. I'll hit that auto fill button up at the top right there. This is gonna save you a lot of time when doing multiple tires on a machine because it automatically inputs all that information. All we need to do is just validate that the sidewall info is the same and we're not dealing with a mismatched tire set on the machine. So again, we'll now take our gauge, put it in at a couple different spots to validate this tread depth. Do one more measurement here. And here I'm getting about 45, 30 seconds. So we'll slide our depth slider over and we'll hit continue. And we now see that that inside tire is actually about 93%. So we're kind of... So I think we're good to go ahead and, and download and generate this report. So we'll hit the download button. You can also email yourself the report by hitting that email button. It sends you the same exact end result but I like to have it on my phone, so that way I can send it to whoever I need to or upload it to, say, the listing software that this machine is on. So I'll hit download, and then if I go over to my camera roll, I will see that report waiting for me there with my organization logo on there, all that in machine information, and at each location we can see the make, model, size, the tread depth that we measured, and then ultimately the tread life remaining um, on what that calculation was. So really a valuable tool for you to use on your equipment listings or in your internal processes as well as software. So be sure to reach out to us, learn more about the Treasure Report, get set up as a pro user, check out our website at treasure.app.